guys and welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So today's reading is your Year Ahead 2015 Law of Attraction Tarot Reading and this is for the zodiac sign of Virgo. So Virgo, for those of you guys who don't know about the Law of Attraction and what this actually is, it's a concept that has been around um, since the dawn of time I guess. Um, what the law of attraction says is that every situation that we're living, the people that are coming into our lives, um, the circumstances that we find ourselves in, so whether you've got money, whether you haven't, whether you feel loved, whether you don't, all of those things in our lives are what we've created. So it's what we've created and attracted into our life. And the law of attraction really is a concept whereby if we want to live the type of life that we feel we truly deserve, that we feel is on par with who we truly are, then we need to be looking to make sure that we're a vibrational match to what it is that we're looking to attract in. So for some of you guys, you might have friends or you might know someone who's always saying, I'm always struggling or I'm always, you know, going through this or why am I, why have I never got any money or why have I, why am I always attracting in the wrong man and all of those things. And really what the law of attraction is saying is that we've attracted those circumstances in our lives. And usually the way that we do that is by the way that we think, the way that we speak and the way that we feel. Life and death is in the tongue as they say, so speak life. The whole point of the law of attraction is really saying that you have a choice. And the choice is you can either feel good or you can either feel bad. If you consistently feel bad, those are the type of situations that potentially you're going to draw into your life. Whereas if you can work towards feeling good those are the things that you'll start to create and start attracting into your life. So I wanted to do these Law of Attraction readings because I wanted to say to people who are creating their lives by default, so potentially creating situations that they don't like into their life by default, and that is to really say that if any of these readings resonate with you, if the universe is speaking to you and you can hear it through these cards, and there is a situation that comes up in them, then it will say that you don't like then potentially you can turn it around for yourself. So, in a nutshell, these readings are the voice of the universe to you. It's what the universe is saying to you guys that potentially you could be looking to attract or you could be attracting in the year 2015. And really they're done so that they can give you some foresight. Forewarned is forearmed. And so that if there are anything, any situations that come up through these cards in 2015 that the universe says you're potentially going to be attracting into your life that you can hopefully turn it around or go with the flow. So I'll make a start and I'm hoping that that kind of explained a little bit about what the law of attraction is. So Virgo for January we have the seven of chalices so this is the seven of cups in the traditional tarot card. And the universe is saying to you that between January and March, if some of you are dreaming of engagement or marriage, know that, know that you can succeed. It, they also say that new meetings will be exciting and meaningful phone calls. Okay, So I think that with this card, the universe is saying that for some of you guys romantically, there can be a manifestation of marriage so for example if some of you guys are already in a relationship and you're hoping for money for marriage or an engagement then you can manifest that between January and March 2015 I also think that this can potentially relate to um, even though the cups card is all to do with our emotions and our feelings I feel that for you guys somewhere along the line between January and March that there could be not just romantic meetings but all sorts of meetings so it could be work meetings that type of thing and if it is to do with new work meetings and I think that this card is signalling that potentially for some of you guys the universe is saying that you could be attracting in new opportunities into your life and there'll be a lot of phone calls and that type of thing that goes along with it but I think more than anything this is centred around new opportunities for you guys within your love life during January and March. And it's really funny because in your general reading, we have the Ace of Wands, which spoke about new work opportunities, good news coming in. And we also have the Six of Cups, past people potentially coming back in for January, between March, March and January. So I certainly think that if this correlates to your general reading, the universe is really saying 
that there will be new opportunities, whether those are love opportunities coming in or whether those are potentially to do with your career and work life. And that potentially new meetings will be very exciting, whether that's to do with love or to do with your work life. And I certainly think it fits in potentially with the Six of Cups theme where new people or old people from your past are coming into your life to really kind of give you assistance and help you out with that. Between April and June, the universe guided me to pick the Eight of Pentacles. And this is definitely all to do with your career. So, well, not just to do with your career, actually, it's to do with your love life, too, because it says changes due to an inheritance or a wedding, an enviable position. The learning of a new discipline may help to make your dream come true. So this is so funny. Let's have a look at the first card again. We have the Seven of Chalices, which spoke about some of you guys might be hoping to get married or hoping for a proposal, a marriage, or an engagement. And in this it says changes due to an inheritance or a marriage. So potentially for some of you guys, if you're going to be getting married or there's an engagement with it between January and March, the universe is saying that there will be changes coming into your home life potentially between the months of April to June. Because potentially for some of you guys, if you're going to be attracting in marriage between June and March, then obviously marriage does bring about changes in one's home life and the way that we live. Um, and the way that we do things and things become a lot more permanent so potentially for some of you guys there could be changes on the cards potentially due to marriage also and it's going to be a really good position for you to be in a lot of people would like to be in your position between April and June or between January and June those six months and also to do with your career it talks about the learning of a new discipline and it's funny because within the um I've just noted, noticed actually, we have the same card. We've got the Eight of Pentacles between 8 and June. The universe threw out the Eight of Pentacles between um, April and June. And in your general reading, we also have the Eight of Pentacles, which talks about a new set of learning skills being um, coming in for you, so being an apprentice. So isn't that, isn't that wonderful? The universe is really backing up your general tarot reading. It's actually saying that there is going to be some form of learning going on for you guys between April and June 2015. So I definitely think that this is certainly to do with your career. And I certainly think because we've done the general tarot reading, which threw out the Eight of Pentacles and it talked about a change of direction and a new set of learning skills, being an apprentice, studying something, um, learning something new within your career that's going to move you on to the next stage in your life. And because in your universal reading, we've got the Eight of Pentacles as well, which is to do with your career. I certainly think that the universe is backing up the previous reading I did for your year ahead reading, Virgo. It certainly says to me that there's definitely going to be coming in some sort of learning. You're going to definitely be taking some direction into learning and expanding yourself. between April and June 2015 there's definitely something new coming in in, turn of your, in terms of your career where you're going to probably be learning a new set of skills or learning something different or adding to your skills there's definitely something coming in there for you because we've got the eight of pentacles in your general tarot reading for 2015 and we've also got that come up again for April and June with your law of attraction so you're definitely attracting in it seems for some of you guys between June and between April and June 2015 something new to do with your career we have between July and September the five of wands that the universe threw out for the law what you could potentially be attracting in between July and September 2015 this card stands for success but the universe does say be prepared to face a struggle or to make an effort to defend the dream you have just fulfilled ambition expansion abundance and this is where it gets really exciting as well because in your general reading in your general tarot reading if any of you guys haven't seen that yet go and check that out first before you can continue with this reading because a lot of what's going on here actually backs up what was in your general tarot reading for 2015 we have uh, in June 2015 we had the Ten of Wands which spoke about pushing forward towards a goal and having to make a lot of effort so we knew that between um, from May 
in May there'd be potentially some new skills, something new that you'd be going towards, something new that you'd be learning. You'd be potentially a pretend, an apprentice. You're going to be learning something new. This is within your career. And then we had the Ten of Wands for June. But what I usually do with the readings is I sort of do them as a general overview in three month intervals. But breaking it down, we had June the Ten of, Ten of Wands and that talked about really putting a lot of effort into this new direction that you were taking to, to, to achieve this goal. And for July, we have um, July to September, we've got you making a lot of effort to defend the dream that you've just fulfilled. There's a lot of ambition there. There's a lot of expansion. There's a lot of abundance. And this would really back up that Ten of Wands that I was speaking about in your general reading, that there's a lot of effort. You're pushing forward. You're pushing through. You're pushing these wands through. They're not on your back. They're in front of you. You're pushing this thing through. It's heavy, it can be a little bit burdensome, but it's not a burden that you can't bear. You're pushing towards making your goals a reality, and this card is practically saying the same thing. It's saying that you've got to be prepared to face hard work, to face effort. If you want expansion in your life, if you want to realise that dream, you have to be prepared to fight for it, to, take, to make the effort for it. This is what this card's saying, it's the same message. Same message that was in your general reading. And finally, the universe's message to you for the end of the year between October and December 2015 is practically the same as, again, as your general reading, the other general reading that I did. The universe is saying on this one, this Law of Attraction general tarot reading, we have the Five of Pentacles, and this is all to do with improvement and evolution of your financial situation. Solutions to problems being overcome. Potentially that were obstructing the realisation of a dream. A spouse, a friend, a lover. And it's funny because in the other general reading that I did for you, the general tarot reading that I did for you for 2015, that shows more cards... We had the Ten of Pentacles for that reading. We also had the Five of Swords. Ten of Pentacles with a lot of abundance coming in. A lot of happiness. A lot of stability for you guys. We had the Five of Swords feeling stronger. Defeating your fears. Moving away from troubles. And the Five of Cups looking back on the year. And kind of accepting and, and, and looking at what you had to give up to get to where you wanted to in 2015. This card backs that up to a T. It talks about evolution of a financial situation. A lot of improvement there. There's a lot of... The universe is saying there's a lot of improvement with you guys because you've worked hard for it. Solutions to problems, which would come with the Five of Swords that we did in the other reading. So feeling stronger and defeating your fears. This is a wonderful, wonderful reading, guys, from the universe. It seems to me that all of these cards correlate. They're, they're all really heavily synchronised with that previous reading that I've just done for you. For the year 2015, your general tarot reading. This is obviously the law of attraction one, so this is the universe speaking directly to you. And I really feel that the universe is very strongly saying to you guys that it's going to be a year for you guys where you're going to be attracting in some wonderful stuff. So to reiterate, from January to March, some of you guys might be getting married. You might be attracting in a marriage proposal. Okay? It's telling you that if that's what you've been looking to manifest, then you can succeed and manifest that. New meetings with people will be exciting, because oh, potentially for some of you guys it could be new love coming in. Meaningful phone calls, phone calls between you and your loved one. A lot of excitement there for you guys between January and March in terms of your love life. And if it's not love, I definitely think it's something to do with career. But overall, generally between January and March, there's opportunities coming in. Lots of opportunities coming in for you guys. The universe is saying there's lots of opportunities coming in for you guys, whether that be love or whether that be career work orientated. But there's lots of scope for new stuff to come in. And then between April and June, the universe is saying that your career is really heavily focused upon in during this time. Also, love, we have the wedding 
between January and March and for some of you guys it could be that you're attracting in marriage in those months and then between April and June there's a lot of changes due to that wedding, due to that marriage and you're going to be in a really nice position, a lot of people are potentially for some of you guys are going to envy you in that position because it's going to be just wonderful but also more heavily for me the universe is saying that you're going to be changing direction, there's going to be a new discipline learnt that is going to make your dream come true so a lot of you guys are going to be learning new stuff there's going to be new skills to take on adding to skills learning new stuff that's just going to push you further along that road of success and that really correlates to the general reading that I gave to you about and it's the same card that showed up funnily enough between April and June in your general reading the eight of pentacles and it shows up in the law of attraction tarot reading as well this one going to be working really really hard between July and September so in those nine months January to September it's focused on your love life with this law of attraction reading it's focused on your career and it's focused on making your dreams come true a lot of hard work a lot of effort but you're pushing through it there is the struggle there but it's a happy struggle one that you're quite happy to take this is what the universe is saying and it's backing up this general reading that i did for you before and finally we have the five of pentacles a lot of improvement in your financial life evolution of a financial situation solutions to problems spouse and friend a lover so there's a lot of love in there a lot of happiness a lot of contentment this is a brilliant reading from the universe virgo a lot of dreams coming true here but the universe is backing up what I gave you on that general reading and it seems to me that this is going to be a very successful year for you guys it's hard work involved this is what the universe is saying but you can do it so guys I'd like to say thank you so much for joining me on that law of attraction tarot reading general tarot for the two year 2015 these are messages from the universe and this backs up what I gave you in that general tarot reading and I'd just like to say one thing to you guys when we do tarot readings this isn't I'm not a magician okay I'm not a magician I'm someone who feels heavily guided and connected to the universe to God to the angels that's how I feel I feel um, I just feel so grateful right now for what God has given me for what the angels have given me I just feel I feel so grateful that I could cry but I'm not a magician. I'm just a girl who really feels heavily connected to these cards and I feel that I'm being guided to do this thing. But at the end of the day, you guys can sit here and you can look at this video and you can say, oh, this is brilliant, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. But you've got to make it happen. This is what these readings are saying. You've got to make The power lies with you guys. It doesn't lie with me. It doesn't lie with me. I'm just the channel. I just channel the readings. Whatever the cards come up with is what's been divinely put there. That's what I really believe. It's what the universe has put there. It's what God's put there. It's what the angels have put there. But it's down to you to take this information and to make it work for you. So if situations come up, you need to act on it. If in jet between January and March you're getting new opportunities to come up, it's up to you whether you go for those opportunities or not because you're the one that changes the course of your life. As I've always said, these readings are the bare bones of what could potentially happen for you in 2015. But you are the author of your... But I'd like to say thank you for joining me. Your next reading is going to be your angel general tarot reading for the year 2015. So this is information from the angels and their advice to you on how potentially your life could be going then. So I'll see you on that reading and have a great day.